basic ability of the Bluetooth is, of course, to be able to have that kind of length control if I want to start, stop, and I want to do uh, adjust my white balance or my ISO if I'm there. I, I don't necessarily know that that's today what's going to be used. I think the big thing that everyone's been asking for for so long is the ability to update that metadata, right? If I'm shooting on the camera, I would like to be able to have that metadata to be updated, but maybe I'm not going to be able to do it right at the camera itself. But if I have an assistant that's there saying, that's the good take, you know, here's the metadata that I want to be updated, I think that that today right now is where someone says, boom, I can instantly go out and use that in the field. Now, I think in the future, we, there's a lot of things we'd like to add into there as well. We'd like to be able to add into where I can control multiple cameras using that Bluetooth. And that's something that I think when you're getting into more of the ability to launch multiple cameras at the same time, or if you've got, you know, if I'm a, a one man person where I'm trying to get several cameras to all be locked in together, make sure they all look great, and then be able to do a record, you know, I don't have to have multiple assistants around running these things. I think that's where some of the power of that Bluetooth capability um, would be great to be able to see in that application as well. Well, I'd actually really like to see you include um, a remote picture capability. So, you know, if you have a, a, a Ursa Mini mounted up like you do here, and yeah. it's up and you can't actually get to it, you want to uh, first confirm that your image and your frame is correct, and then you can start and stop and record. That would something I'd really love to see. The big, the big challenge with Bluetooth is it's only a 10 meter range, so it's not going to be your end all. It's like 30 all. feet, right? Yeah, it's about 30 feet, so it's going to have some of some capabilities that we're going to be able to look into there. But is it going to really replace you know running along SDI and having a video assist around? Might be a bit hard if you're trying to do a long run, but you know this is a good start to show the direction that we want to go in by having that Bluetooth in there. There's other things that we've talked about, not anywhere near ready. You know, like could we use like you know we we've, we've never really got that G. GPS in the camera like we originally wanted to back with the original Ursa. Is that something that we could tie in via the app to be able to say, look, I could geo-lock via the Bluetooth and via the app? Oh, that is interesting. Okay. So yeah. there'd be some cool things that we could do with that Bluetooth. So, you know, plan A was get the camera out, wanted to make sure we got that out ahead of NAB. We knew the Bluetooth was going to obviously be tucked in there so that we could go ahead and put out the app when we were ready. We've put the app out kind of in a beta form. We're pretty pleased with it, but there's a lot of things we'd like to be able to do with that. So It's downloadable now? It's downloadable. I believe it's downloadable now on the app. It may be only in the beta form, but it's definitely only on the you know iTunes to be able to put on an iPad right now. So it, it's still got a lot of potential that we think we can put into it, but we wanted to get it out there, show folks we were working on there.